Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft is finalizing the next Windows 11 version 22H2 optional bug fix C release update KB5023778. Currently, I'm in the Insider program in the release preview channel. Now, this is its final stages before it gets released to the stable version. And we can expect the public release of this next C release update to roll out any day soon. Um, if not this week, next week towards the end of March 2023. Now, um, the update um, would be an optional update. And when it rolls out at this stage, we'll have four new features. And then um, it's a non-security bug fix update. Now, just to go through a couple of the new features that we can expect to see roll out, and then just to mention one or two um, bug fixes. Um, the update introduces notifications for Microsoft accounts in the start menu. So this would make, um, if we head to our profile picture in the start menu, you would get um, just above change account settings, um, you would get options to back up using um, your backup your files using OneDrive and have options like start backup, remind me later. Yeah, right in the profile menu, which I think may be met with a bit of controversy and debate as I have posted on that previously. And some um, users do consider that to be ads and basically bloatware. But nonetheless, that will be rolling out with the update and um, will only be available to a small audience, Microsoft says, at this stage. And some devices might notice different visual treatments as they gather feedback. So that can and could change from device to device. And the next is that um, if you have access to the new Bing, and that's the new Bing chat with the chatbot chat GPT, if we head down to the search box um, on the taskbar, it will include a button that opens here to the right. So that will be the Bing chat icon and button. Um, that will basically open that up uh, in Microsoft Edge. And if you don't have access, uh, the search box on the taskbar will feature a dynamic search highlight button, which is your search highlights as we currently get uh, in the stable version of Windows 11 version 22H2. So that means the Bing button, which is now in the top right of the search, will be placed in the bottom right of the search box, giving you access to that feature over on Microsoft Edge. And once again, I also think that might also be met with a little bit of debate. Now, um, the third new feature is Microsoft says the update adds many new features and improvements to Microsoft Defender for endpoints. So that's a business and enterprise addition for Microsoft Defender. And then the last new feature that the update will bring is also regarding the search box. So two new features rolling out for the search box. And for this one, the search box on the taskbar will be lighter when you, when you set windows to a custom color mode so that means um, if you do decide to install the update and you head over to your windows settings app personalization and you head to colors and um, if you set your colors you choose a mode to a custom color so basically that means that um, if you set windows mode to dark and you set the apps to light which just as an example would be a custom color mode um, that means that the search box will then be lighter, um, as mentioned, setting that to a color mode, which I actually think might be a nice move in the right direction. And then over and above those four um, kind of minor new features, and we do get a couple of bug fixes that will roll out because at the end of the day, um, this is a non-security bug fix update. And just to mention a couple, um, this update addresses an issue that affects the combo box in settings. So that's any combo boxes in settings. So that would be uh, settings and combo boxes that have a menu. So a combo box is where you get a drop down or a fly out menu, as I also call it. So it's it, it's apparently a f um, fixing an issue regarding those combo boxes where they were failing to show all the available options. Um, the update also addresses an issue that affects Microsoft PowerPoint. Apparently it stopped responding when you were using accessibility tools. And it also addresses an issue that affects Microsoft Narrator. Um, which is also an accessibility tool, which is found um, in the settings app under accessibility. And um, the update also addresses an issue that affects USB printers. And this was also a fix that rolled out recently for Windows 10, which I did post on earlier today. And then just two more to mention for the purpose of today's video. It also addresses an issue that affects Microsoft PowerPoint. It wasn't responding on the Azure virtual desktop and also up the update also addresses an issue that affects Windows Search. 
Um, apparently, Windows search fails inside of Windows container images. And that's just a couple of the bug fixes I have mentioned for today's video. There are a lot more that will be rolling out. And uh, as mentioned, four new features. And um, that does bring a couple of new improvements to Windows 11 version 22H2 when the update, which as mentioned is KB5023778, does roll out over the next coming days. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.